Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are jumping into Avatar The Last Airbender, book two. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. You, yes, you, hello, you. Thank you to all of y'all who have subscribed, who've stuck around and watched these videos, these movies and shows with me. I really appreciate it, and this channel would not be half of what it is without you. You guys make this community so fun and amazing to be a part of, and I really appreciate those of y'all who have subscribed. And welcome if you are new. Hey, hi, how are ya? If you like what you see here and you enjoy these videos, maybe consider clicking that little red button below. You can subscribe and stick around. We definitely have a lot of fun over here. Avatar The Last Airbender. This show has been so fun, so exciting, so full of levity. I don't know exactly the word that I'm trying to pick in my brain to describe it, but full of levity is feels right. <laughs> I'm just excited to hop on into this show again. It has been really sweet. I've really enjoyed a lot of the character progression that I've seen thus far from our four leading characters, Sokka, Katara, Aang, Zuko. Especially in the last couple episodes in particular, I feel like a lot of them grew up. Um, we definitely saw some unexpected moments from Zuko and all in all, season one definitely started off in a place that felt very childlike and surface level in the beginning, but very early on, very quickly, we started to see some of the nuances of the characters and see them grow a little bit. And by the time we wrapped out the first season, I feel like we've left off in a really good place to dive a bit deeper into these characters and their relationships in this next book. We also had an introduction of a new antagonist, Zuko's sister, who I'm very excited to meet. I think it could be really fun to have not only another antagonist around, but another female, another badass female at that. I mean, Katara has certainly become a badass in the last season. She became a much more powerful waterbender than she was at the start of season one. That's really exciting to see, but I am ready for some more girl power. Even if she is a villain, I'm excited. I also noticed that they were taking some more risks with the artwork and the style in the last few episodes for season one. So I hope to see a little bit more of that in these next couple seasons. I think that stuff is really interesting and I'm excited to see what they do with the art style. All in all, I really don't have that many expectations though. I'm just excited because a lot of people have told me that book two and book three are when the show gets really good. Uh, a lot of people have been really passionate about this whole journey that we've been embarking on over here. I've gotten so many messages about people who are so stoked about Avatar The Last Airbender. I think that's really cool to see. Pretty much everybody who has messaged me has said, just wait till you get to book two, just wait till you get to book three. So we're finally in it, we're starting book two, and I'm really excited to see why everybody loves this show so much. I mean, I already am having a lot of fun watching it, but I feel like I haven't really gotten into the meat of what people love so much about this series so far, so I'm excited to be diving further into it for sure. And real quick before we hop on into season two, I just wanna mention that I do have a Patreon page. I always link it in the description bar down below. The reason I like to mention it before we hop on into these episodes is because by the time you're seeing this video on YouTube, I am likely almost done with season two or probably really close to it. We've been consolidating these videos for YouTube and a lot of episodes go into them. Around 10 episodes of Avatar go into each video for YouTube. So I post my full length reactions over there in a watch along style format much earlier. So if you wanna see those episodes, if you wanna watch them along with me, you just have to have your own copy on Netflix or something and it's a lot of fun over there. And I cut out a lot for these episode reactions over here on YouTube. So if you're passionate about Avatar, you might wanna check that out. But that's all I have to say, guys. I'm just excited to hop on into more Avatar. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the show. Is he having a dream? Oh my God. He's having a dream about his Avatar self? What is this? Oh my God. I wonder if he's having nightmares about it because he can't control it. It just kind of happens to him. I don't know. I want you to have this. Contains water from the spirit oasis. Oh. The water has unique properties. Don't lose it. That's very nice. What's unique properties for what? Are we gonna know why? Great heroes, Appa, Momo. He knows the names of the animals. Look at them, they're all getting recognized. This is so cute, normally it's all about Aang. We were all amazed at the stories of how you single-handedly wiped out an entire fire navy fleet at the North Pole. 
I don't know if it was an entire fleet, but okay. He did wipe out a lot of boats. Oh, well, he did do it as a fish, right, as a fish god. So it's decided then. I'll help you figure out how to get into the Avatar state, and then you'll face your destiny. Uh, uh, sir. While you take your time learning the elements, the war goes on. Right. I know it sucks, but like, you can't rush this process. I understand why he, he wants the war to end, but... You could end it. Now. No, he can't. Sir, I empathize, but no. It, you're too soon, man. Too soon. Everyone's watching her. What? She's bending lightning. What the f***? One hair out of place. Almost isn't good enough. Just because her hair was out of place? Holy moly. She's scary and a perfectionist. That is a bad combo. <laughs> Man, fire. I think somebody told me firebenders could bend lightning, but I forgot. That's crazy. There's a right way to do this. Practice, study, and discipline. Yes. Katara's right. I don't have time to do this the right way. You do. You have two more seasons, Hang. Don't worry about it. This rare chi enhancing tea is a natural stimulant. Oh, they think this is going to do it? It's just gonna make him hyper and bounce around. He's twitching. It's like coffee. Am I talking too loud? They raised his pitch. They raised his pitch. That's so cute. This is why he's having nightmares about the Avatar state, because it's like this uncontrollable thing for him. Can't be done. You gotta do it the right way, guys. There's no easy way out of this. You forget. We have to carry everything ourselves now. Oh, yeah, they're off on their own. Oh, no, she's here. Oh, no. To what do we owe this honor? Uncle Ira really is great at staying civil. He's so wise. Oh, he doesn't like that. She broke his seashell. Father regrets your banishment. He wants you home. I don't think that that's true. I feel like it's a trap. It simply needs a moment. Don't interrupt, Uncle. Oh, what, a what about respecting your elders? After three long years, it's unbelievable. Oh, look, Uncle Iroh is skeptical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smarty. Smarty pants, Uncle Iroh. Smarty. Smart man. He cares about me. I care about you. Yeah. You don't know how my father feels about me. You don't know anything. No. Things are not always what they seem. Yeah. I think you are exactly what you seem. A lazy, mistrustful, shallow old- Zuko, you don't mean that. You don't mean that at all. You don't. You're just hurt. He's lashing out. It's like the typical thing when you have daddy issues and then somebody like tells you that your dad might be like a jerk and not there for you. You like lash out at them because you don't want them to, that to be true. I feel bad for Zuko, but I also, ugh, I love Uncle Iroh. I don't think we should be trying to bring on the Avatar state. You sure? Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you think the general will be mad? Yep, the general will be mad, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> you can't please everyone, Aang. Uncle, you've changed your mind. Family sticks together, right? Aww. We're finally going home. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't. This is so stupid, guys. Uncle Iroh is right to not trust his brother. I just feel bad for Zuko. I can only reach the Avatar state when I'm in genuine danger. Yeah. I see. Oh, so is he gonna put him in danger? Men! Attack the Avatar! Oh, this is great. That's great. They're so stupid because like they're just triggering this attack in the Earth Kingdom where they're not near the Fire Nation right now. You're gonna bring an attack on yourself. <laughs> Ooh, nice job, Sokka. Man, he's he's gotten so tough from his days of like not being able to like throw a boomerang right, you know? You heard the princess. Raise the anchors. We're taking the prisoners home. He blew it, he blew it, he blew it. Yep, he blew it. Oh, you're getting killed, my bro. Sorry. Maybe you can avoid me, but she can't. Oh no, oh no, she got herself into this mess. Oh no. Man, you would seriously hurt the Avatar's friend? That's so f***ed up, dude. I don't see glowing. What is, this guy is f***ed up. Well, you're gonna die now, bud. You're gonna die. Yeah. What do you think is gonna happen? It's not gonna go well for you. This is why he's been having these nightmares. We knew this was gonna happen. Oh, that was a cool transition to Zuko fighting. Zuko! Let's go! Yeah, Zuko, you gotta get out of here. I know you want revenge, but you're really not gonna defeat your sister. It's really cool that she can bend lightning, I'm not gonna lie. Yes! He can too! Holy f Man, Uncle Iroh is incredible. I'm really worried that like, he's gonna die at some point though, cause Zuko depends on him so much and he's old. It was just a trick to trigger the Avatar state. Yeah, you dummy, look what you did. You made him angry. Oh no. Oh my God. It's time you learned. What? Where's he going? He's going on a spirit mission. If you are killed in the Avatar's state, 
the reincarnation cycle will be broken. Holy And the avatar will cease to exist. Whoa, that's high stakes. It was important for him to learn that though, which is why he can't defeat the Fire Lord in the staying in the avatar state the whole time. I guess we'll figure it out on the way to the Fire Nation. Thank you, Sokka. Anybody got a problem with that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we're safe here. You guys should start working with Aang. You should just give up on your dream to catch the Avatar and start working with Aang. Because you'll be safe with them. Oh. Wow. I know that, like, growing your hair like that is probably a symbol of, like, respect and takes, like, years of work. I wonder if there's a meaning to them cutting off their ponytails besides just trying to like stay in hiding and look different or if it's also like a symbol for them like letting go of the family name and like saying goodbye to royalty too. I wonder if it has a, a, another meaning, but dang. Man, the Fire Nation sucks. Oh. Don't fall in love with the traveling girl. She'll leave you broken, broken. Oh my God, look, it's hippies. We're nomads. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. That's great. I'm a nomad. Hey, me too. Yep, we, you just said that. What are they smoking? <gasps> Look, they're braiding off his hair with flowers. That's so freaking funny. There's an old story about a secret pass right through the mountains. Well, the music makes it sound dangerous, so maybe you shouldn't go that way. <laughs> Sokka hates it. He's like over this. It makes sense that he would hate like these hippie flower children because he also like doesn't like the fortune teller people either. He just doesn't like anything that's like like weird or different, you know? Oh my god! I've heard this song on TikTok. <laughs> Secret tunnel. I've heard that. Holy that, that's a sound that's been used a lot on TikTok. Oh my God, that's really funny. Oh God. Secret love cave, let's go. They tried to go the other way. That was a really funny little sequence. Them just briefly trying to go the other way and getting attacked by fireballs. The curse says that only those that trust in love can make it through the caves. Oh. Otherwise you'll be trapped in them forever. And die. Oh yeah, and die. It's kind of vague. What does trust and love mean? Does Appa even know what love is? I'm nervous about Appa. I mean, he's an animal. He probably loves Aang. <laughs> oh my god, that scared me. It's a giant flying thing with teeth. Great, thank you for pointing that out. Appa! Appa, no. Appa. Uh-oh. Katara, move! Oh. Wait, so they're, oh, they're trapped in two different areas. Katara and Aang are trapped in a separate area, huh? Oh, with Appa, okay. Oh no, Sokka's trapped with the hippies. This is his worst nightmare. No! I know, Sokka, I know. I'm sorry, man. It sucks. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be stuck with these guys either. Don't let the cave in get you down, Sokka. It's so funny. It's really hard to believe in love when you're stuck with these guys. Although I kind of like his song. It's funny. It kind of reminds me of like Monty Python, uh, Sir Robin, who has like his minstrels. And they're always singing. Sir Robin, Sir Robin, who ran away. This isn't the exit. Uh-oh. What is it? It's a tomb. Of the lovers. Oh boy. The villages were enemies, so they could not be together. But their love was strong, and they found a way. Mmm. Like Romeo and Juliet. Tale as old as time. Love is brightest in the dark. Are these guys gonna have to like kiss or something in this episode? Like, how are they gonna get out of here? Something crazy is gonna have to happen. I have a crazy idea. What? Never mind. It's too crazy. Say it, girl. Say it. What is it? And here it says, love is brightest in the dark and has a picture of them kissing. She's saying to she blow out the lamp and kiss or something. What if play... we kissed? Oh my God. <laughs> so we got to play seven minutes in heaven to get out of this tunnel. <laughs> What was I thinking? Can you imagine that? Oh, come on! It'll be cute! Do it! I definitely it. wouldn't want to kiss oh, you. Why would you say that? That's rude. Well, I didn't realize it was such a horrible option. Oh, no. Oh, no. If it was a choice between kissing you and dying... Aang, you made it sound so much worse. Oh, no, Aang. Well, I'm not sure which I would rather do. Oh, sh Oh, sh What is wrong with me? Yeah, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> you were so close. You just it up there. Then what are we gonna do? Trust in love. What can we do? Kiss! We're not gonna see it though, huh? Because it's in the dark. Oh my god, it worked. 
Look, these two are on a romantic date and like poor Sock is at a music concert that he doesn't want to be a part of. Oh, come on. Really? These guys have to fight wolf bats. Oh, maybe not. I guess they don't care. They were trying to get away from something. Yeah, what is that? Oh no. The badger thing. Oh, they like the music, huh? They like the music? The big bad badger moles who urban the tunnels. <laughs> their, their experience is way weirder <laughs> than guitar and Hanks. Aww. So, um, let's go. Oh, oh, Aang. <laughs> Momo. Are they sharing stories? It's like they're telling stories to each other. That's so cute. I think that kid might be the avatar. Oh, that's why his forehead's red. <laughs> he keeps slapping himself in the head. <laughs> That is so funny, man. I present to you the Earth Kingdom city uh -oh. of Om. Where is it? Oh no. The Fire Nation beat them here? Oh no. What about Boomy? What about King Boomy? There really is no fathoming the depths of my hatred for this place. Oh, really? Your father was appointed governor. We're like royalty here. You're like oppressors. You're only royalty because you're you're oppressing people. But this place is unbearably bleak. Well, it wasn't so bad before you guys took over the place. It was more interesting and pretty and before. Azula! Huh? It is so good oh. to see you. How are you friends with this bubbly, sweet little girl? Is she a gymnast? Oh, is she in a circus? I'm really happy here. I mean, my aura has never been pinker. Oh, she's adorable. But before we even had a chance, King Boomy surrendered. He surrendered. Oh, I'm sure he had good reason. Now's the time to retreat so you can live to fight another day. Living to fight another day is starting to sound pretty good to me. Yeah, I'm with the kid. Wow, so quickly convinced. You're all about to come down with a nasty case of pentapox. Oh, oh, he... We're just gonna make them all look sick, I see. Oh, they look like zombies. What is going on down there? Oh, are we back with this, these royals? Drive them out of the city. Yes. We have to rid the city of this disease. Oh, you guys are so nice. Just drive them out of their homes. I love how she's just entertained, like snacking. Like, wow, something's happening. This is fun. Oh, Fluffy or Flopsy. Oh, Flopsy's been put to work. This is so sad. Nice. Oh. oh, Momo. Oh, no. Momo. Oh, no. Momo. Momo, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Momo, just get the f*** out of here, man. Momo, you gotta save the baby. You gotta into this mess. This baby. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a mess. An absolute mess. Momo, you caused mayhem! It's from the Fire Nation governor. He thinks we kidnapped his son. Of course he does. Because it does look that way. His son? For Boomy? Boomy. Oh, great! Oh, perfect! That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Oh, but Aang's gonna go do it? It's just crazy that you guys are the ones doing this. Because you're all over wanted posters. <laughs> oh, no. She's here now? Oh, no. Please tell me you're here to kill me. Oh, no. <laughs> you said it was your calling. Well... Azula called a little louder. This girl is like Bubbles of the Powerpuff Girls. I feel like this angsty one is like the green Debbie Downer Powerpuff Girl that's always like emo. Azula's like a blossom and uh, the circus girl is like Bubbles. <laughs> We're trading a two-year-old for a king. It just doesn't seem like a fair trade, does it? It's her brother. You're right. She's savage. She doesn't even care about her brother. Wow. The deal's off. Whoa! <laughs> See you all later. He's so unfazed. Oh, yeah, you just outed yourself, Aang. Are all of the flames she bends like intensely hot and like bright blue? Does she only bend blue flames and lightning? I think you could give the baby back. You really could give the baby back. It would be better to give the baby back, honestly. <laughs> He's laughing again. He can't resist having a great time. Uh, I need to talk to you. About what? About what, Boomy? Just say it. Nice, good, good effort. I don't know if that'll phase her at all, honestly. Oh, it did. No, it didn't. She's really a badass. She's not like Zuko, okay? She's, I mean, Zuko's very capable and a badass too, but uh-oh, Katara, other angle. Ooh, what is she doing, acupuncture? How are you gonna 
fight without your bending. Uh, I seem to manage. What the hell? What did she do to her? I hope that's only temporary, the acupuncture that she just did to her. That was f***ed up. Your teacher will be someone who has mastered neutral jig. You need to find someone who waits and listens before striking. But, but Boomy, you already do that. <laughs> he's pushing himself back up there. Aren't they gonna notice that he's earthbending? Oh no. Oh, is he returning the baby? <laughs> nice, good job, guys. Aw, dang. So much really be happening in all of these episodes. Come on, we're talking a gold piece here. Let's see some action. What? Dance. What the hell? It's so sweet that you really got to meet. This is really rude, actually. This guy's a jerk. Nothing like a fat man dancing for his dinner. You're horrible. Such a kind man. No, he's not, but thanks, Uncle Hero. You're very, you're very sweet. Ooh, Zuko has murder in his eyes. He wants to kill that man. There was no need for him to pull out knives. Just swiping at Uncle Iroh. What's going on with Aang here? Hey, you taking us down for a reason? What? I didn't even notice. Is he being hypnotized by the swamp? What's going on? I think it wants us to land there. Oh boy. I don't know. There's something ominous about that place. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm scared that this is like the swamp in Lord of the Rings that like calls to people. Uh, uh oh. What the hell? It was really calling to them. It's following them. Oh, he's protecting them all. Yay, Aang. No. Oh no. Ouch. Man, Aang can always control his landing so nicely. It's not fair. No. Appa! Momo! Appa! Momo! Oh no, Appa! Oh, good job, Momo. Oh, okay, good job, guys. At least you two are together. Appa! Maybe no flying in here, bud. Yeah, look, Momo's telling him no flying. Aww. Momo, Momo, no one can hear that but you two. <laughs> Thank you, Appa. Oh, Sokka, you're screwed. Didn't like the fact that you were cutting branches and stuff. Oh, all of them. They're all getting separated, oh no. What the heck is going on with this swamp, man? Is they trying to kill them? Hello? Oh, oh God, that wasn't her. That's, she's seeing a spirit that looks- Mom? Like her mom? Oh God, what is this spooky place? Yeah, it's a mirage. Oh God, what is up with this place? I don't like this place. This is such a nightmare. Oh my God. Oh God. You didn't protect me. Oh my God. <gasps> what the heck, man? What is up with this trippy place? Hello? Who are you? <laughs> pigs are flying when pigs fly. What? Why is there a flying pig? And a laughing child. That's creepy. Dang, maybe stop trying to chase it for a second. I don't know what's going on here. Katara! <laughs> Oh, good. Sokka's nearby. Oh, good. They're all together. Great. I'm sure Appa and Momo are coming soon. Oh, what the hell, man? What the f is going on? Oh, my God. He doesn't stand a chance against this thing. Oh, God. Jeez. Why is it trying to absorb Sokka? No. Is it trying to eat Sokka? I don't like this. Oh, no. Momo! No! Ah, I gotta calm down. It's gonna be fine. Oh no, what is the point of this thing? What are, what are we supposed to be doing here? Why does it want the, the Sokka so bad? Oh, there's a man in there. Why did you call me here if you just wanted to kill us? Wait, I didn't call you here. Now he'll talk. The Avatar. Yeah, you dumb Maybe if you, ugh. This guy's annoying. He could have just had a conversation with them instead of trying to kill them for five minutes. In the swamp, we see visions of people we've lost. But what about my vision? It was someone I had never met. It's probably someone you knew in your past life. So it's someone I will meet. Maybe. Hey, you guys are waterbenders. You too? That means we're kin. <laughs> she didn't like that. She judged him. Whoa, where are we now? Oh, is Zuko come to attack this guy? <laughs> oh, he, he still had his mask. Wow, he still had his mask. Interesting. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. The yep, I thought this was gross. 
I'm really, it's, I'm just having a hard time getting into the reaction spirit right now. I need to get over myself. <laughs> what are you doing in my mouth? That's, That's what, what she, she said. said. Momo is really cute. I, no matter what, Momo's cute. Momo makes me happy. Oh, yeah, the boomerang. Don't worry, Saga. I'm sure it will come back to you by the end of the episode. I like how Aang has a big goofy smile on his face. The other two don't. I just noticed that now. That's pretty funny. Also, the thing I said last time is that re this festival reminds me of Burning Man because I was like, who would just like gather around to watch like a gigantic structure of a man burn? And then I was like, oh, me. <laughs> I've done that. I've gone to Burning Man. But like the difference is there's art at Burning Man. There's other to do. If it was just burning a man in the desert, like a, a statue of a man, I wouldn't go. But the, the other stuff is pretty cool. <laughs> Zoom in on his shiny forehead. We used to be a great society before you killed our leader. Now look at us! <gasps> <laughs> now look at us, we're old and weird. <laughs> that includes paying bail. No problem. How was I supposed to know they wouldn't take Water Try money? I liked that transition the first time. I still like it the second time. It's cute. I can't do that with people thinking I'm a murderer either. You you can. Really doesn't affect you. These people are like weird. <laughs> it's one town, Aang. <laughs> He's really a people pleaser. He really cares a lot about what people think of him. I think it's good to be a little bit of a people pleaser, but like not too much. And therefore there is nothing linking her to the crime scene. Brilliant, Sokka. <laughs> I just realized that I look like Taro with my arms crossed, like just sitting here rolling my eyes. Hey, you're smart, handsome, funny, not to mention you're the Avatar. You guys are great. <laughs> Don't be afraid to tell her how you feel. <gasps> oh, they're so cute. Giving him a little pep talk. So the sun must have been in the west. So what? <laughs> Miss Kiyoshi was- Oh my god, just Throwing her down so he can finish the mystery. Yeah, he deserves that. Evidence? <laughs> That's not how our court system works. I say what happened, and then you say what happened, and then I decide who's right. Like in Game of Thrones. That's totally fair. <laughs> His little maniacal laughter. <laughs> That'd be fun to do in a voice studio. Just sitting there. <laughs> I'm going to call. Avatar Kiyoshi herself. Just dressing Aang up as Kiyoshi. This is a mockery of Chin Law. Well, Chin Law is bullshit anyway, and you guys should be mocked. You're stupid. I'm annoyed that I have to watch you a second time. There we go. Avatar unlocked. I warned him that I would not sit passively while he took our home, but he did not back down. Eh, <laughs> I love that he's little like Napoleon. Yeah, and she just made her home an island, which is just so crazy. She didn't really kill him. It was kind of an accident. He was a dummy and didn't step away from the ledge. I also love that Katara's always there to catch him because she knows he'll be exhausted. We no longer have anything to gain by traveling together. I don't understand this. I don't get it. And he just leaves, like, without a hug without saying thank you for everything, I love you. And just like, we don't have anything to gain. Your uncle has taught you so much, wants to protect you. It just breaks my heart. I don't like that he's making these decisions. I don't like that he didn't thank his uncle or hug him. After everything your uncle did for you, I don't get it. I just hope they come back together. It doesn't make sense. What good timing. For once, I'm happy that the Fire Nation is here. I I'm excited that he gets to like, duel with these fans. That's cool. Yes! Boomerang! The boomerang! That line is cute. You do always come back. That is so cute. And be reminded of how on this day the Avatar was not boiled in oil. It's like a Hanukkah tradition, like everything's cooked in oil because the holiday's all about oil, but instead it's like he wasn't boiled in oil, so nothing will be cooked. This is by far the worst town we've ever been to. Really? For real? Seriously? It's horrible. It sucks. I was thinking the same thing, man. This is just gonna be a bunch of guys chucking rocks at each other, isn't it? Yeah, honey. That's so funny. It's like we're at a WrestleMania show or something. This is how I'd feel at that kind of show, though, too. I don't really like watching those wrestling shows. They don't do it for me. But I like sports, just not those. You may be big, but you ain't bad. 
I've never watched The Rock when he was into the wrestling stuff, but is this is this how he talked? Did he talk like in the third person? Because this guy like sounds like he's trying to imitate The Rock, but I don't really know what The Rock did. The hippo is rocking the boot. And also he's named the boulder. I'm just putting that together now. He's got to be modeled after The Rock, huh? Did he speak in the third person? Was that a thing The Rock did? I never watched him like in the wrestling setting. Your champion, the Blind Bandit! She can't really be blind. Oh, she blind. Oh yeah, now he's putting it together. He recognizes the laugh. It's honestly really clever to have like this character who's blind being earthbender. It makes sense. She'd like listen to the vibrations. Also, Boomy really be giving good advice. Like find somebody who can listen to the earth. He was right. <laughs> also, the fact that this like took this guy out, like he just, you never stretch, bro. You only lift, huh? You need to work on your flexibility too, okay? It's not just about strength. There you are. Ah! <laughs> They're all shocked. Whoever you are, just leave me alone. Oh, Aang, you messed up by beating her ass. She's a sore loser, okay? It's okay, you'll find her. That's the flying boar from my vision. Come on. It's just a really interesting, like, family sigil is a flying pig. I wonder what that says about the family. You know your father doesn't want you wandering the grounds without supervision, Toph. She's not allowed to be on her own goddamn property without being supervised. It's so ridiculous. I'm pleased to hear that Toph's private lessons are going well, but I want to be sure she's not trying anything too dangerous. Oh, she is. She's not in her lessons with this guy. Does that mean she's like a self-taught earthbender? That's crazy. She's a self-taught master earthbender. Blow on it. It's too hot for her. Allow me. I am, I am, I am, sir. If she burns her tongue, she'll be fine. It's a learning experience. You don't need to protect her from her soup. This guy's so annoying. And sadly, because of her blindness, I don't think she will ever become a true master. You're putting limitations on your daughter that she has not put on herself, sir. Shame on you. My parents don't understand. They've always treated me like I was helpless. Yeah. Where else am I supposed to go? You could come with us. He, inv he invited her so quickly. I mean, he does need her, but like, that's sweet. Oh no, they got him so quickly. Toph, there's too many of them. We need an earthbender. We need you. Yes, you do. She is blind and tiny and helpless and fragile. She cannot help you. Yes, I can. What, what, what was the need to add all of those qualifiers, man, and just like tear your daughter down and call her helpless? Like, do you really think that that is like good for her? It's just, he's a dad. I love this. She levels the playing field by making them all blind. This is great. I love that we always like cut to her face on a close up of her like smirking. It's so cute. She's just so calm and collected. You guys really be making a lot of noise, letting her know you're coming. Oh my God, her, her dad just anxious. Yes, work smarter, not harder, girl. Good job. She makes it look effortless. Oh, the smirk again, yes. The artwork like for her listening is also really cool, you know, for her feeling the vibrations. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> she amazing. But I'm 12 years old and I've never had a real friend. That's so crazy. He literally would never even let her leave the f property to make friends or have people over. It's just crazy. Yes, I've let you have far too much freedom. Yeah. <sighs> He's ridiculous, man. He's absolutely absurd. No, you guys aren't. You're really not actually at all. It's not for her own good at all. It is for your own selfish desires to keep your daughter safe and not let her live a life because you're too scared. That is not being a good parent. You have to let her spread her wings a little bit. I mean, you don't have to let her go off with Aang, but you have to let her spread her wings a little bit. And yep, she ran away. Good girl. My dad changed his mind. Nope, that's a lie. I wonder why she lied to them. Maybe she worried that if she told them the truth, that she was actually running away, that they wouldn't take her. Um, I'll take the belt back. That one got me, that was so funny. It's pretty easy to forget that like she can't see everything coming, you know, if she can't hear it. The Avatar has kidnapped my daughter. He didn't really, he didn't know he was doing it. And also your daughter doesn't wanna be here at home with you. Maybe you should like let her go for a little bit, but you know, it's cool. We just now have another person chasing them, it's fine. Who's that? Was that his mother? Who is he seeing? 
Oh, we reached the village, finally. Maybe they'll have water for your animal. Oh no, they're gonna make it look like he threw the egg when he didn't. Look, come on, little kids, what the hell? Egg had to come from somewhere. Maybe a chicken flew over. <laughs> that is a good one, actually. Thanks for your country. Oh, f no. Oh, hell no. Wonderful town. Thanks for not ratting me out. Stupid kids. Maybe he'll help Zuko. I'll take you to my house and feed your ostrich horse for you. Come on, I owe you. Yes, you do. Okay, good kid. All right, you're not so bad. Okay, this is better because he probably can get food at the house too and water. Okay, this is good. You don't seem like you're from around here. Mm -mm. <laughs> Why? Is he hammer differently? <laughs> Stop asking the man personal questions. Oh, this guy's so respectful. He's like, he doesn't have to tell us who he is. He doesn't have to tell us his business. It's okay. I bet he's dream these like flashbacks. He's That's a turtle duck. Oh my God, all these hybrid animals. It is his mom. It was his mom. Zuko, why would you do that? Oh. Ow. Yeah, you deserve it. If you mess with their babies, hum. <laughs> yeah, you, you started it, asshole. No, oh, I wonder what happened to his mother. Something awful is gonna have to happen to his mom. If Uncle doesn't make it back from war, then Dad would be next in line to be Fire Lord, wouldn't he? Uncle Iroh was supposed to be the next Fire Lord? Oh my god. Holy moly. Oh no. This kid's snooping around. Oh, Zuko was aware. Oh, he's just playing with him. Oh, I see. Kid, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. You're holding them all wrong. <laughs> oh, was he gonna teach this kid? That'd be cute. Oh, I like him bonding with Earth Kingdom people. Oh, of course, here come the soldiers. Great. Come on, Zuko, take him out. Just thought someone ought to tell you your son's battalion got captured. Wow, lovely. What a jerk. What's the point of telling him? Aren't you all Earth Kingdom people? Why bother rooting around in the mud with these pigs? Yeah, I, I don't know what you guys do here. What is the, what is the point of you being here? You suck. Here. I want you to have this. The knife? The knife? Oh. He found out his son died and he just fell apart. A real general would stay and burn Ba Sing Se to the ground. Is this why Uncle Iroh isn't the Fire Lord? Because of the ba lost ba battle at Ba Sing Se? Your father has requested an audience with Fire Lord. Oh, his father, his father is going to, he's going to pick a new Fire Lord, his dad. Oh. Someone will probably end up taking his place soon. Azula is just... Evil. Yeah, I don't know. You raised her, ma'am. I don't know. She, but you know, sometimes they're just born different. Revoke Iroh's birthright. You dare suggest I betray Iroh? Oh boy. What's gonna happen? Directly after the demise of his only beloved son? Right. Pretty awful, huh? Yeah, I agree. Your punishment has scarcely begun. Wow. Azul is smiling watching her dad be tortured. Azula is so f***ed up. Grandfather said dad's punishment should fit his crime. You must know the pain of losing a firstborn son by sacrificing your own. Azula is so crazy. It's time for a talk. Yeah, it's time for more than a talk. What's gonna happen to his mom? His mom is gonna die. It's Lee. The thugs from town came back as soon as Gonsu left. Oh no. Lee pulled a knife on them. Oh God. I know we barely know you, but... <laughs> help her, Zuko, help her. I'll get your son back. Yeah, he will. I mean, he kind of caused it by giving him the knife, but still, like, these thugs are just awful. Like, you don't even need them in the town. This is like a Wild Wild West style fight. A duel. <laughs> he might not even have to fire Ben. He might just fight his way out of this normally. Look at him. Not even phased. Amazing. Oh. He uses the hammers to kind of earthbend because he can't earthbend, I see. Oh, don't fire Ben, bro. I'm nervous for him. Come on, Zuko, come on. The sword tactic isn't really working. Oh no, no. No matter how things may seem to change, never forget who you are. Where's she going? Is she fleeing? What's going on? Is she running away? Oh, he's firebending, holy uh-oh. It's yours. You should have it. No, I hate oh, you. Oh, that's so sad. I get it. Like, the Fire Nation has put them through so much pain, but it's so sad. Where is she? Is he not going to speak to him? Oh, my God. I feel so bad for Zuko. He lost the only person who really cared about him. I mean, Uncle Iroh cares about him, but he's just not here right now. I feel like Ozai just killed his dad or something. This doesn't make sense. Oh, poor Zuko. 
I just don't know why his mom couldn't have taken him with her. So sad, man. Zuko's story is so sad. Oh, is she getting annoyed that she's not helping? Yeah, it's like having a new roommate. Katara, I'm fine. I can carry my own weight. Well, that's great for you, but we still need to finish- I don't understand. What's the problem here? Never mind. The problem is you're a team, Toph, and even though you carry your own weight, it's still nice to help out. You know, it's perfectly normal to have differences. Growing pains. You have a new member in the group. Oh, does she hear somebody coming? What is that thing? What is that thing? Uh, yeah, that's what I said, Katara. What the heck? Actually, can you help us unload? Really? You need me to help unload Sokka's funky smelling sleeping bag? Oh, uh, we're gonna have a fight now because we're tired. Ever since you joined us, you've been nothing but selfish and unhelpful. Well, she's, she is a spoiled, like, rich Here, kid. Sugar queen. Sugar queen? Sugar queen? Yeah, that's, that's what I was wondering too. What does that even mean? You both need to calm down. Both? I'm completely calm! You're really not, Katara. Oh my god. But this is how I would be acting too. I would kind of be in Katara's boat. Oh, it's definitely hunting them. Uh-oh. How is it tracking them? I'm just, I have so many questions. Oh, they're going up a mountain, smart. I just feel so bad for them all. They're so tired, poor Appa. Maybe we should face them, find out who they are. Yeah, at this point. Maybe they're friendly. They're probably not, but you might as well face them. They're gonna keep finding you. But it's unfortunate that you're all sleep deprived. Yeah, it's these three. Oh, great. Never mind. how did they find them? Poor Appa is gonna fall asleep in the air. Oh, is Zuko gonna cross paths with them? That would be crazy. Oh, he's following it. Wow. What's going on? Appa fell asleep. Appa, oh my God. Appa, you're gonna get hurt. Oh my god. Of course, we could have gotten some sleep earlier if Toph didn't have such issues. Katara! Car Katara, what? You think I have issues? You all have issues. No, no, she's not blaming you. No, I'm blaming her. Katara, shut up. <laughs> Besides, if there's anyone to blame, it's Shetty over here. What? Yeah, you want to know how they keep finding us? Oh, the fur. Oh. He saved your life three times today. Yeah. Toph, you're about to turn everyone on you by blaming Appa. Appa's carrying your weight. Yeah, exactly. That's true. He never had a problem flying when it was just the three of us. I'm out of here. Uh-oh. Well. Wait. <sighs> yeah, Sock. Oh, wow. How did she do that? Did she bend grass? How the f*** did she bend him out of the way? We're all just trying to get used to each other. And I was so mean to her. Yeah, Katara. You two were pretty much jerks. Yep. Saga was the only one who was just minding his own business. I'm gonna use Appa's fur to make a fake trail and lead the tank off course. Smart. I worry that she's gonna get captured though. Oh, is it Zuko? No, who is that? That really hurt my tail, bro. Iroh! Wow, everybody's in the area, conveniently. Is this the town that Zuko was in? Wow, this map is getting smaller and smaller. We just need to make it across that river. Oh, I doubt you're going to. Poor Appa. This is what I've been saying the whole time, man. Poor Appa's got so much work to do. Oh, oh, Appa, baby. We're safe. No, you're not safe. Uh-oh, not this acupuncture girl. F oh no, oh no, she is scary. And they're fighting sleep deprived. I worry about them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> This is kind of really funny, I'm not gonna lie. How you doing? <laughs> I thought when Tylee and I finally caught you guys, it would be more exciting. Why is this girl always bored? She's, that's her thing. Nice job, Appa. Appa really does everything. I don't know what we do without yeah, you. Yeah, seriously, really nothing. You'd really do nothing without them, or without him. He does all the work. I've been saying it this whole time. Or was that guy kind of cute? Sokka? <laughs> Uh, I doubt he's interested in you, ma'am. I don't know, maybe. All of the women he likes are unavailable. You seem a little too young to be traveling alone. You seem a little too old. Can Uncle Iroh join the crew? I would be so happy, but I, I think that probably won't happen. People see me and think I'm weak. They want to take care of me, but I can take care of myself by myself. Ah, uh, that's the chip on her shoulder. But it's interesting because like Katara just wanted her to help out with everyone, not like, not, they weren't offering to do things for her. They just wanted her to pitch in. They wanted her to be self-sufficient, but also like contribute to the group. So where is your nephew? I've been tracking him actually. <gasps> oh, that's why he's here. Oh, good for you, Iroh. 
The only person I'd actually be friends with from this entire series is Uncle Iroh. He just is so wise and enjoyable to be around. I really do. Oh, wow! This just got spicy! When you'd show up, Zuzu. Zuzu? Oh, God. Zuzu? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Ang. I'm not going anywhere. Ooh, spicy. Well, this is great. Can we all just fight over Aang and, like, he can take a nap? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she bends blue fire lightning. It's extra hot, Aang. Be careful. Oh, my God. Wow, this town is really, like, much more deserted and in shambles than it was before. I wonder if it's a different town or if it's the same one Zuko was in. Katara! Yes, Yes! She's so powerful, it's crazy. Yes, Toph! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh, Iroh, too! They're all against her, look at this! Iroh. She just disappear? That's not fair. Iroh. No, no. What? Zuko, I can help! She's a healer. <laughs> She's a healer! No! Oh, Zuko. What? Guys, there's no way he's dead. <laughs> I got you, Dad! Oh, is Uncle Iroh dreaming of times with his son? You were unconscious. Azula did this to you. Yeah, and Katara could have healed him had you let hit her. I hope I made it the way you like it. Aww. <laughs> no, he didn't. Okay, well, it was the it's the thought that counts. <laughs> so, Uncle, I've been thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. He's gonna die, I'm convinced, in this series, and I'm just not gonna be okay. I just feel like he will. No, she's crazy and she needs to go down. Agreed! Thank you! See, he knows when it's not worth it. He knows. He's like, listen, it's a lost cause with her. She ain't worth it. It's time to resume your training. Nice. What a bad <laughs> Yeah! If he's doing something wrong, maybe a gentle nudge in the right direction. Thanks, Katara. A gentle nudge. I'll try that. Shape your knees high, twinkle toes! Yeah, I was gonna say, Katara, like, you can't make, you can't protect him. Like, sometimes you just have teachers who have different styles, you know? That's okay. Nice! Like, sled pushes. Good job, Aang, you're doing it! Nice! Yeah, it's about, earth bending is kind of like strength training. Well, listen, it was his first try. Take some time. It's okay. Oh, they're both draining. It's like another episode where Aang and Zuko are doing the same thing, or, and it's like side by side, paralleled in the story. You'll stay in your stance and stop the rock. Ugh, that's definitely scary. Are you sure this is really the best way to teach Aang earthbending? Actually, there is a better way. Blindfolded! Yeah, thanks, Katara. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Thanks, Katara! <laughs> no, he was too scared. He dodged it. Do you have what it takes to face that rock like an earthbender? No. No, he doesn't right now. He's scared. He doesn't have confidence. You'll take a break and try earthbending again when you're ready. Uh, Katara, I love that Katara, you know, is really trying to protect Aang, but it's like, you gotta let him have his failures. You will not be able to master lightning until you have dealt with the turmoil. Oh, he's gotta go to therapy! Zuko, really? What, turmoil, really? You got a lot of baggage, bro, what do you mean? I'm as proud as ever. No, you're not! Psh. Okay, karma person or thing, whoever's in charge of this stuff. Is this creature trying to get him out? I will give up meat. And sarcasm. He's not gonna give up either. Well, maybe me, but he's not gonna give up sarcasm. Oh no! Oh, he looks very different without the ponytail. Is the animal leaving him alone and taking the hair tie? Ugh, stop! Stop! Oh, we're gonna have to earth bend to get him out. I can't do it. Not with that attitude! Well, if you can't earth bend me out of here, go get Toph. I can't do that either. Why? It would just be really uncomfortable. Hey. Well, I wouldn't want you to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I love Sokka. Thanks, Sokka. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, man. He thought he was being sincere. <laughs> he didn't give up sarcasm either. <laughs> Aw, what a cute name for a little baby saber-tooth moose lion cub. What? Did you lose your mama? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, they're really... Oh, no. So we're not going to take this baby with us on our adventures, huh? Bummer! 
Yeah, but I'm not going to shoot lightning at you. Yeah. If you're lucky, you will never have to use this technique at all. Right, it's just purely a defense mechanism. Well, if you won't help me, I'll find my own lightning. Oh, no. Wait, he's leaving him again? Ah! Oh, my God. Poor Sokka looks to be a mess. Please, Aang, you have to earthbend me out! Yeah, yeah, you gotta do it, Aang. You can do it. Well, stopping it with air is really effective. Oh, that worked. I love how every animal in this series is like a hybrid, like fusion of two animals that exist or have existed in the world. You just stood your ground against a crazy beast. And even more impressive, you stood your ground against me. Is that what it takes to earthbend? Do you have to be a stubborn asshole? Kind of makes sense. You did it! You're an earthbender. That's why her teaching methods are different. You might accidentally crush him. Yeah, no crushing, please. <laughs> you tried the positive reinforcement, didn't you? Yep, it worked wonders. Ha 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 ha. She did kind of do positive reinforcement by telling him, you just did this and you did that. Like, you're crazy. You can earthbend. Well, I can take it. And now I can give it. Oh no, Zuko, I'm worried. Oh, the music. Oh, he's crying. Ah! This is part of the trauma you have to deal with, Zuko. Zuko has so many issues, but like, you know, we all have issues. I just feel for him. I just want to hug him. <laughs> he's so, like, I feel so bad. Just watch. Is he going to play a fl <laughs> Yeah. Singing covers? I'm putting an orchestra together. That is so. Cute. Well, how are you unimpressed by this, Sokka? This is adorable. Momo? <laughs> is he hunting them? Is he just chasing them? <laughs> I've found lost civilizations all over the Earth Kingdom, but I haven't managed to find the crown jewel. Ah. Uh, Wan Shi Tong's library. Ah, the library. That looks like the Taj Mahal, kind of. If this place has books from all over the world, do you think they've got info on the Fire Nation? Probably. Because we tend to resolve questions like in the first episode oftentimes, so probably. Aang, I do believe it's my turn. His mini vacation. Like spend my vacation at the library! At the library! When do I get to pick? You gotta work here a little longer before you qualify for vacation time. That's really f funny. That's so funny. That's one of those jokes that I wouldn't have gotten as an eight year old if I'd like watched this show as a kid. Oh, it doesn't like. Oh, oh. Sandbenders! Are they sandbenders? It's like. They're like the sand men, or not sand men, what's it called? Sand, uh, like this, what are those things called on Tatooine that make noises that speak like ar, ar, ar. sand, sand? Are they called sand men or are they called sand people? They're called something. Oh, the stories this beast could tell. <laughs> sure, chatty monkey. Well, what about, <laughs> what about, what about Momo? Disrespectful. There it is. Huh? That's what it will sound like when one of you spots it. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's so funny. We all fell for it. I did too. I was, I like forget that she's blind, honestly. Forget it. It's obviously not what we're looking for. What if it's buried in sand? That's the top of it. What if it's buried in sand? Is that a wolf in the desert? I think that was one of the knowledge seekers. I was so trippy. It's completely buried. Good thing you have an earth, but oh. Can she not bend sand? Shouldn't she be able to bend sand, Toph? Or they do, do they need to recruit the sand vendors? Well, time to start excavating. Oh, yep. I mean, yeah, you might need a bigger shovel, but that is what archaeologists do. I say you guys go ahead without me. Why? I've held books before, and I gotta tell you, they don't exactly do it for me. Oh, because she can't read. Oh, maybe one with Braille? But that's probably not a thing in this world. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> we still have some warming up to do to each other. Uh oh. The f I know you're back there. Uh huh. Are you the spirit who brought this library to the physical world? Indeed. Humans only bother learning things to get the edge on other humans. Oh. Firebender who came to this place a few years. Oh, right, Admiral Zhao. Who are you trying to destroy? Oh, 
He knew it was Sokka. We will not abuse the knowledge in your library, good spirit. You have my word. Very well. This thing is so creepy because it has two voices, like two pitches. The darkest day in Fire Nation history. It's got a date at the top, but it doesn't say anything else. Sokka. Sokka! Oh, Sokka's gonna get in trouble. He's gonna get them all in trouble. Firebenders. They destroyed everything having to do with the Fire Nation. Oh, they're smart. Just when I think I'm one step out of the Fire Nation, it turns out they beat us here a long time ago. Oh, that thing is listening, uh-huh. Seems it's trying to assist you. Oh, is it? I'm worried. I don't know. Maybe. Oh. Whoa. Sokka, try entering that date from that parchment you took. Shh, Katara! Not in front of the fox, he's with the owl. Sokka, you were not discreet, okay? It's fine. Everyone knows you took it. Hey, wait. What happened to the sun? The darkest day, no. Oh, an eclipse. Firebenders lose their bending during a solar eclipse. <laughs> yeah. We'll wait for the next eclipse, then we'll invade the Fire Nation when they're totally helpless. Why are you spilling this in this library? Yeah. Such terrible liars. Yeah. Yeah, Sokka, you're a dummy. You already know too much. <laughs> Holy <laughs> That's creepy. It can just grow its neck and hunt them like a creepy giraffe owl thing. If we leave this place, we'll never get the information. And come with me to the planetarium. I need cover. Oh no, this is such a risky move. Oh, sandbenders are coming. Uh-oh. Are they trying to capture Appa? I swear to God. There you go. That's it. The solar eclipse. Memorize that date. Why is everybody always hunting this guy? Appa. It's ridiculous. Don't make me put this down. Oh, no. She can't hold the building and protect Appa. No! I'm sorry, Appa. Yeah. She can't help Appa either. I do feel bad for her. She already said how it's like, her vision is more blurry with the sand. She can't hear things properly or feel things properly. Jesus, that's terrifying. She's not gonna be able to climb that rope fast enough. Ah! Nice, good job. Wow, they knocked it out. It's called style. Learn it. Okay, nice punchline there, Sokka. What about the nerd? Where is he? I'm not leaving. I can't. Oh, he just wants to live here? But you'll die here, bro. I could spend an eternity in here. There's no food or water. Oh, God. Nice. Oh, thank God. Wow, all thanks to Toph holding it together for them. It's a good thing she didn't go in there. Where's Appa? Oh, Toph. She feels so bad. Oh, Aang's crying. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, we'll find him. We'll get him. We'll get him back. We have to get him back. I mean, like, it'll be okay. But oh, my God. It hurt my heart seeing them both so sad. I'm getting emotionally invested. <laughs> so far, I'm really enjoying this second season. I think there's definitely a lot of depth, a lot of emotional issues that we're really diving into with certain characters like Zuko. I'm really curious to see what happens in the second half of this season just because... I feel like in the second half of season one is when I started to really enjoy it, um, especially with the final few episodes. I felt like those were really captivating and really well done. And a lot of stakes were risen in those last few episodes. And even as early on as the first half of this season, we've had characters like Uncle Iroh getting seriously injured. It just reminds you that like anything can kind of happen and that the stakes are getting higher and higher with each episode as we dive further into this show which I really enjoy, you know, even though it's a kid's show, I don't really want it to feel too, too safe. It's more interesting when there are consequences for certain things happening. And it does make me more emotionally invested in characters as a whole when you know that something negative could happen. In past episodes, when we've lost Appa, we usually are reunited with him back by the end of the episode. And this one, he was captured and Toph had to make this tough decision either to protect the people or to try to help Appa and she couldn't do both and that's not a thing that we see quite often usually people are able to do both and get out of the tough situation that they're in but this episode really ended in a tough sad place for all the characters with Appa having been captured so I'm kind of enjoying to see these more mature emotional moments in the story I think the music too has also just gotten better um, I've noticed with some episodes that there will be these beautiful musical interludes 
that will start off the episode or come in halfway through. Like the storm scene with Zuko in the last episode, that was really beautiful. The music was just really gorgeous in that. And even just the way that the music started at the very beginning of this episode was really pretty. It was just, the music is really great. And I'm noticing those compositions get more and more rich. And all of it definitely leaves me feeling really curious to see how they round out this season, how the next last season unfolds after this. I definitely am enjoying this show a lot so far, and I hope you guys are enjoying watching it with me. It's been a lot of fun. I'm already getting emotional, so it doesn't bode well for me. I feel like I'll probably cry at some point. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, I was enjoying this show for so long because it was like this little palate cleanser, this little joyful thing to watch in between more intense things, and now it's gonna probably make me cry the same way everything else does, but that's just me. I'm just sensitive and I get emotionally invested in characters very fast, especially when it comes to shows. I do get more invested with shows because we have more time to get to know certain characters, to fall in love with them and to see a wider array of colors from them, a different side of them. So I always tend to be more invested in characters and shows rather than movies, but yeah. I'm interested to see how I feel by the end of this show. But I hope you guys are liking this so far. And if you are, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me out and lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next. And subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.